This is the 501st Battle Pack. It is one of the best and most popular LEGO sets ever made. And today I'm going to show you 10 ways to make it even better. Tip number one is to improve your battle droids. The battle droids, which come with the set, as you can see here, are okay, but we want to give our 501st Troopers a bit more of a challenge. You can upgrade them a bit by giving them backpacks. All you need is one of these grill pieces in light tan, and this piece, which is from one of these levers, but you pull it apart. This is quite a simple design, but it adds a nice upgrade. It is especially helpful so that now maybe your battle droids can call in some reinforcements. Another way you can improve your battle droids is by turning one of them into a sniper battle droid. All you need to do this is to build one of these guns. It is built using a pistol with a black lightsaber hilt at the back, then one of these wrench pieces connected to it, then a stud with a hole in it, another black lightsaber hilt, and a black hand on the front. Then all you do is connect it to your battle droid's hand like so, and move it up so that your battle droid looks right through this visor. This is similar to the sniper battle droids we see in the 2003 Clone Wars series. These are great ways to improve your battle droids and make them a bit tougher for the clones to defeat. Tip number two is to make the walker more accurate. You can do this by just using parts in the set, but rebuilding it into a smaller version of the walker. This design, which is from Star Wars Bricks and Figs, uses only parts from the set and is much more accurate. His video will be linked in the description below, and you should definitely check him out as he makes really cool LEGO Star Wars videos. Tip number three is to make a more accurate version of the speeder. We did this using another one of Star Wars Bricks and Figs videos. This just makes the speeder a bit shorter and look much more accurate. It uses pieces from the speeder from the 501st Battle Pack, except for these four added pieces, which are pretty simple and easy to find. This is a great way to improve your 501st Battle Pack and make it much more accurate. Tip number four is to add a stretcher to your sidecar. This adds much more functionality and is quite easy to do using common pieces. It is built on top of a 2x6 Legray plate, then with a 2x4 on top of that. Then you get these clips, as you can see here, and connect them to one of these sticks right here. You do this on both sides, then you get one of these 1x2 plates, then these tiles on top up here so that your person can put his feet right here and then lay right down. Then we build this assembly with this clip and then these inverted slopes which will connect it to the speeder. Now we simply just connect it to the speeder by putting these four studs on to the bottom of the speeder. Now your speeder can drive around and get injured clones to safety. Tip number five is to build some shields for your clones. This is very easy to do using just three pieces a 2x4 tile, then a 1x2 plate, then this bar connected to a 1x2 plate at the back. You can then just get one of your figures and connect it to him so that he can be more stable and more prepared for battle. This gives them extra safety and protection. Tip number six is to upgrade your trooper's weapons. There are many different brick built weapons you can give your troopers which add great detail to them. We have two videos on how to make weapons like this, called 10 Weapons to Improve Your LEGO Star Wars Figures and 10 More Weapons to Improve Your LEGO Star Wars Figures. These will both be linked in the description below, where you can check them out. I will be giving one of my troopers this machine gun, and another this sniper gun. These are both featured in the two videos I mentioned earlier, and make your figures much more detailed. Tip number seven is to make camas, pauldrons, and bandoliers for your figures. We have tutorials on how to do this, one on the pauldrons and camas, and one on the bandoliers. These will both be linked in the description below. They are quite simple to make, just using markers, paper, and a printout. We will be giving our heavy trooper a bandolier and a camera, our sniper trooper a pauldron, a bandolier, and a camera. And for our jet trooper, we're going to take off his backpack and give him a double pauldron and a camera so he looks like an arc trooper. These paper accessories add great detail to your troopers, making them more specialized and unique. Tip number eight is to give your figures backpacks and visors. For the visors, there are two different types you can give to your troopers. One is a thicker macro binocular visor and the other is a regular visor. For our sniper trooper, we will be giving him the thicker visor 
and all you need to make this is to get one of these uh, normal clone visors and cut off the nibs that connect it to a phase one or Mandalorian helmet. Then just get some sticky tech and stick it inside. And then that can just stick right onto his eyes to create his visor. And for our heavy trooper, we will give him the regular visor, which just has a thin layer of sticky tech along the back of it and has the little knobs cut off. And then you can just stick it right on. For the backpacks, we are going to be giving him two different types of backpacks. This trooper, we will turn into a medic by giving him one of these backpacks, which just fits right onto his head, like so. And if this does not fit, you can build the brick-built backpack like the one you can see on the screen now. We will also give our ARC trooper a backpack, which is a simple design, which comes in the 2012 Elite Clone Battle Pack set. This has a stud, a tile, this 1x2 plate with a bar sticking out of it and a bracket, which just can go right onto your trooper. The past three tips showcased many ways you can create custom 501st clones. If you want to see some more different ways to combine them, you can check out our How to Make 10 Specialized Lego Clones video, as well as our How to Make 10 Named Lego Clones which will both be linked in the description below. These are all nice and simple upgrades for your troopers, and they make them look much better than a regular 501st trooper. Tip number nine is to build some flags for your 501st troopers. We have a video on this, which will be linked in the description below. It is quite simple to do, just using a paper printout, glue, scissors, and a Lego stick, which you can stick your flag on. Our video shows you how to make two different Republic signs, this one with the red on the outside and the black in the middle, and then this one with the white and the black. These are all quite simple, but add great detail to your figures and show great patriotism to the Republic. Last but not least, tip number 10 is to make some tents for your 501st soldiers. We show you how to build these tents in a video called How to Make Tents for Your Lego Minifigures, which will be in the description below. They are quite simple to make, just using a printout, some paper, and then some parts inside which hold the whole build together. These provide a great place for your troops to hang out so that they can be prepared for the next battle and get some relaxing time. And now, one bonus tip. This tip is to make alternate builds from your 501st Battle Pack. There are many different unique and cool alternate builds you can build. There's this Swamp Speeder, this Tri-Droid, which we built, this 501st Troop Carrier, a Mini Venator, a Command Center, and many more. You can check out all of these in the description below, or they'll be linked under a section called Alternate Builds. These are especially helpful when you have multiple 501st Battle Packs, so that you can have different builds for your troopers. So that was 10 ways to improve your 501st Battle Pack. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below what you thought about it. If there's any other sets you would like us to do 10 ways to improve, please let us know below as well. We also have many 10 tip videos like this, such as 10 ways to improve your Republic army and 10 ways to improve your Separatist army. If you want to check those out, they'll be in the description below as well. So we thank you for watching this video and hope to see you next time on Sanders 3 Studios.